Hello people and welcome to another episode of Sandman's Tattle Time. Tonight we're down here at Same South Pier. Lovely cod weather if you would like to have a quick look at that where I see. It's got cod road all over it. So me and a couple of mates are down here tonight. Better see if we can pluck a pig out. Fingers crossed. I've got a rig there. I'd like to show some of the beginners out there. Hope you enjoy it. It's just a standard clip down distance rig. Uh, the gear that we're using tonight, um, I'm using a pen Fathom 15. Loaded up a 50 pound Spectra braid straight through. I haven't got a shocker on tonight. I normally do use a shocker. I, use, I normally use 70 pound blue marlin, but tonight I've just uh, left it that way. The rod I'm using tonight is um, one of my trusted Ziplexes. It's the Dynamic HST High Speed Tournament. Fantastic all round rod this. Um, of all the Ziplexes I've got, this is probably my most favourite. When I go into that cupboard, that's the one I normally pick up with. So, quickly before I show you this rig, I'm going to quickly just flip this out and uh, make sure this line's laid down alright and then uh, I'll talk to you about this rig That's great Right, we'll put that rod on the stand Boys and girls, I'll talk to you about this rig. Right, here we've got 150 gram, five and a quarter ounce UK hooks grip sinker on a piece of eight pound amnesia. Good old trusted rotten bottom rig that you've seen us make many a time on Sandman's Tattle Time, followed by uh, a fast link on a size 1 crane swivel, swivel. The line as the main body is 70 pound blue marlin. Going on to an SRT spring with an 80 pound class um, swivel. Size 1 crane swivel. And the hook snud I'm using today is 30 pound amnesia, clear amnesia. What I'm using for bait today is Black's, here it is here, so if you'd like to come in closer so you can have a look at this. I'm not using a panel rig on this, this is just a standard one hook clip down distance rig. The reason I'm not using a panel rig is because every time when I've used one on the south side it's like I'm just asking for trouble. The other hook will always lodge into kelp and this that and the other and everybody knows about the south side or the self pier at same harbour knows that this is notoriously heavy, heavy ground. Very heavy ground. It's a pure tattle, tattle graveyard, simple as that. Anyway, so back to this. So get your hook and your black and feed that up onto your hook as is. You then come to there. Push that up your line a bit. I've only got small crab today. To be honest with you, it's what I've got left over off a match at the weekend. So I'm not going to waste it. I'm going to put it in through there. And put it in through there. Push that down the shank a bit. Get this little fella. And just repeat what I've already done. As I'm going to hit this, I'm going to tie this down with a little bit of cut. So we'll use my bait loader as you've seen us again, you've seen this made on Sandman's Tap of Time before. So if you've never seen this used before, this is the short version. Ideally I would have preferred the long one, but like you think I've left it in the house. Anyway, so clip your hook onto the hook of the bait loader. We'll just tuck it out away for the time being. Wrap the, the line in, in your hand like that and hold it like that. Look, it's just perfectly in control. There's your Elasticate the cut. There we go. You can see that hook is going nowhere. Pop the hook 
off the clip, pull that free, and out of there, get your block, push your block down to there. Look at that for a presentation. Well, that to me is absolutely beautiful. Splendid. It's got cud wrote all over that. You got a rotten bottom on, mate. Fish on. Sea is beautiful for cod today. It's got cod wood all over. Never mind, mate. Like I say, this is 50 pound spectre braid right the way through. I normally use a shock leader, but today I haven't got one on. So I'll we'll simply clip that onto there. Yeah, look there. Right then. So, what you do with these rotten bottom links, in case you've never seen them before, I know there's a nation of people out there have, but for those that's never seen them, I tend to like to get a hold of the sinker like that and spin it with your fingers. Give it a spin like that. Stop it, watch the line. It's all knotted up out the way instead of having a good big loop. It's the way I've always done it, it always works for me, so that's that. Right, so you're there, put the end of the bit, of, of the, the gate through the loop of the sinker, push it up and drop your bead over the top. You're now looking at that. As soon as that hits the water, that bead will push up, down, and that's where you'll be. There's your weak leg, eight pound line. Believe you me, if you fish same South Pier, use this. Right, I'll quickly just do that once more. So you get your sinker, give it a quick spin. There's that. As you can see, it's just link tying up into a knot itself. Through the hole of the sinker, drop it there, drop your bead down. That's that. You've all seen the breakaway impact shields. As I'm using crab, I would like to protect it a bit. That's sitting there. That's it. That's a clip down distance rig. Let's give it a whirl. Just like to show you this uh, spectra braid. There it is there. That's 50 pounds straight through. Like I keep on saying, there's no shock leader to it or nothing like that. 50 pounds spectra braid. Absolutely fantastic stuff. For on here, for bullying your way through the kelp, it's great. I used it yesterday in a competition. It's fantastic.
it's gone out, no problem whatsoever. I know you hear your rumours of it'll bite in, this, that and the other. The trick is we're using braid, stick to 50 pound. Don't ever go below 50 pound because if you do, you're tugging away and you're pulling on it, it will bite in on itself. So you go up to 50, 60, 70, 80. I've got a mate there out there, he's got, he uses a 7,000, uh, 75, sorry. And I think he uses about 80 pound braid. He has no problem with it whatsoever. He's pulling away, it never bites in on itself, nothing like that. It's absolutely fantastic. Anyway, that's the end of another Sandman's Tattle Time. Just take care out there, be safe. If I end up getting a pig on this, I'll put the video back on. Just take care, bye bye.